there are some water features that will absolutely blow your mind. From old-aged monuments to harmonious hotel fountains, join me for today's video as we take a look at 15 of the most stunning water features. Number 15. Mehmet Ali Gokcheoglu's Home Aquarium The chances are you've never heard the name Mehmet Ali Gokcheoglu, but he's an incredibly successful and wealthy businessman and an engineer from Turkey who has an eye for style as well. As you can probably imagine, Mehmet lives in an absurdly large and lavish home in Chesme, Turkey, but woke up one morning with a great idea to take his home to the next level. Using his expertise in structural engineering, Mehmet took the 164-foot fence that lined much of the property and replaced it with, you guessed it, a 164-foot aquarium. Mehmet replaced his fence back in 2005 and filled it with a thousand different exotic fish, including some sea breams, eels, and even octopus. He quickly became the talk of the town, and as word spread, Mehmet's aquatic wonderland became a very popular tourist destination. But how do you keep something like that safe? With so many fish exposed out in the open, couldn't anyone just walk right up and take an octopus from the fishy fence? Not a chance, because Mehmet also installed 17 security cameras along the fence, complete with facial recognition technology, to keep his thousand most prized possessions safe. Number 14. Nine Floating Fountains Leave it to the land of the rising sun to come up with one of the most futuristic and surreal water features in the world. The Nine Floating Fountains in Osaka, Japan, a gravity-defying structure that people from all over the world would come to visit. And compared to some entries we'll see later on, the Nine Floating Fountains are an ultra-modern marvel. These Japanese fountains appear to float in mid-air with no connection to the ground below whatsoever as they spew water. Originally designed by Isamu Noguchi and built for the World Expo, the Nine Floating Fountains are actually much simpler than they would have you believe. These two giant cubes stand around 50 feet in the air and are held up by some incredibly inconspicuous pipes, which appear all but invisible to the naked eye. Water is pumped through the pipes and into the cube so it can fall back down again. And while it may not be your first choice, make sure to come here on windier days to see the water be blown from one direction to the next as it comes crashing back down. And while these nine floating fountains may just look like strange sci-fi cubes during the day, things quite literally come alive at night when the multicolored lights come on to illuminate the water. Number 13. Fountain of Joy If you're going to have a water feature in the middle of a major city, then you better make sure it's pretty damn spectacular. Luckily for the sitter of Kolkata in India, the Fountain of Joy manages to check all of those boxes. The Fountain of Joy, while no doubt spectacular, has an interesting backstory, just as exciting as the shows it performs night in and night out. When the Dancing Fountain of Joy first opened to the public, it was met with a general dislike, many locals feeling that its implementation was in bad taste. Originally set up in 1991 by the Kolkata Electric Supply Company, the fountain used up a great deal of electricity while the city was facing a severe energy crisis. Many people didn't even have a light in their homes, and yet the Fountain of Joy was putting on light shows every night. A few protests and letters to the government later, and the fountain shut down. But luckily, times, moods, and opinions changed, and the Fountain of Joy reopened in 2012. The fountain's valves open and close 12 times per second, allowing bursts of water to dance along with the music. It's an awesome sight to behold, and while it may have a somewhat controversial history, I'm certainly glad that there's now enough electricity to go around. Number 12. Charybdis Fountain This next water feature on this list is going to make your head spin a little bit. The Charybdis Fountain is easily one of the coolest sculptures in the world and has been gracing onlookers with its presence since the year 2000. Designed and sculpted by William Pye, it sits right in front of the luxury CM Hotel and Spa in northern England. And as you can see, the main feature of the Charybdis Fountain is the endless whirlpool that lives inside the structure. It gets its name from the mythical sea beast, which is said to be the offspring of Poseidon and Gaia of Greek mythology. Charybdis offered trials for the likes of Odysseus and even Jason and the Argonauts. But luckily for the rest of us, this Charybdis Fountain has no intentions of breaking free. The fountain itself is enclosed in a cylinder made of transparent acrylic, making the whirlpool appear to be standing all on its own. And in the center of this London fountain is a large air core vortex that rises and falls every 15 minutes to keep things a little more exciting. 
And of course, the one-of-a-kind swirling fountain sits at the bottom of a set of stairs, so when you climb to the top, you can stare straight down into the vortex. Though it may not be the type of fountain you want to toss some coins into. Number 11. The Diver's Fountain Dubai is home to some incredibly wild attractions that you're not going to find anywhere else, and that includes the Diver's Fountain. Located in the heart of the Dubai Mall, the Diver's Fountain opened just shortly after the mall opened in 2009, and high-end shops and eateries aside, it's got to be the coolest feature of the entire area. And it's huge, too. The Diver's Fountain is made of two 24-foot-high cylindrical structures, both 100 feet in diameter. From there, water comes streaming down along the humanoid figures of, you guessed it, divers. The water comes cascading down so beautifully, making this the type of feature that you can stare at for hours on end. Luckily, it's placed near a ton of cafes and seating areas, so you actually can. The fountain was designed by DPA Architects, a Singapore-based architectural firm, and of course integrates light and music into the water, so make sure you get here at the right times throughout the day to catch the different spectacles that the diver's fountain has to offer. Just make sure you don't get any ideas when you look at all the divers, because it's a long, long way down. Sometimes it's just better to look rather than touch. Number 10. Cascades of Hercules Monument the Cascades of Hercules Monument in Germany looks like it may be better suited for a storybook, but alas, it was built with human hands long ago. Construction on this monument and water feature officially began in the year 1689 and continues all the way through the 19th century, and it's become one of the most recognizable monuments in the country. There's the Hercules Monument itself, which can easily stand on its own, but it's the cascading water of the monument's namesake that we're interested in here today. Sitting just behind Hercules is a water supply that feeds into a complex system of hydropneumatic devices that supply the monument's Baroque-style water theater, the grotto, the fountains, and the 1,150-foot Grand Cascade itself. The water pours from the top to the bottom in a majestic manner before finally coming down to the main pool at the bottom. And aside from the cascades, there are numerous rapids and waterfalls, and the Grand Fountain, which spurts out a constant geyser to really wow the onlookers. And when that water reaches a height close to 165 feet high, it's easy to see why this is one of the most visited water features in the world. Hercules would be proud. Number 9. Tunnel of Surprises Life is full of little surprises, but one of the biggest surprises is the Tunnel of Surprises in the area of Lima, Peru, known as the Magic Water Circuit in English. The entire space really lives up to its name, offering 13 different yet equally magical water features across 19 acres of park, each with its own unique design and look. But it's the Tunnel of Surprises that stands above the rest. This awesome fountain opened to the public in the year 2007 and cost the city a solid 13 million bucks. It's easily one of Lima's biggest attractions, and anyone with eyes can see why. The illuminated waters of the Tunnel of Surprises arc over just perfectly to create a tunnel or archway for guests to walk through. When you're inside, you feel as if you're Moses parting the Red Seas. Only, the stakes are much lower here. And while the tunnel is amazing at all hours of the day, it's best to pay a visit well after dark when the streams are all lit up. And if you're tall, just make sure to duck. But to make matters even more exciting, when Magic Water Circuit was finally built, it immediately made it into the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's largest water fountain complex within a park. And it really doesn't seem like anyone is going to snatch that title anytime soon. So when you visit the Tunnel of Surprises, you are witnessing part of history. Number 8. Volcano Fountain don't think for a second that we're done with Dubai, because the aforementioned Divers Fountain isn't the only stunning water feature this Middle Eastern city has to offer, not by a long shot. The Volcano Fountain was built back during the 1980s, and has a unique design that makes it look like it goes as far back as the Stone Age. Also known as the Al Shalal, or Waterfall in English, the Volcano Fountain was made of stone and sat at the pinnacle of a multiple-tiered garden. A flight of stairs would lead guests from the bottom up to the base of the fountain so they could get a little more up close and personal with this stunning water feature. And while the Volcano Fountain may have been a popular attraction during the day, it saw most of its foot traffic at night. Like so many others, the Volcano Fountain was beautifully lit at night in such a way that it gave the cascading water the appearance of a lava flow as red-tinted water erupted upwards from the spout on top. 
Sadly though, nothing great can last forever, and the volcano fountain in Dubai first went dormant and then became extinct in 2004 as part of the region's redevelopment initiative. But here's hoping that a new volcano fountain is erected as part of the Dubai 2030 master plan. Number 7. Jet d'eau If you speak French, then you'll know exactly what the name of this next stunning water feature means. The jet d'eau in Geneva, Switzerland translates very beautifully to English as the water jet. And while it may not sound like much, when you see the jet d'eau jet go, your jaw is going to be left on the floor because this thing rips. At the end of the day, there's not much to it, but it still remains one of the biggest tourist attractions in the country. That's because the water shoots high, high, 460 feet high into the sky. It's pretty insane, and no other water feature in the world comes close. Trust me. But why would anyone want to build a single stream that high? Well, it's actually a funny story, because the Jet d'eau was built entirely by accident. Back in 1886, a hydraulic power station was built to bring water from the River Rhone to Geneva to be used as a part of the city's water supply. But there was an unforeseen pressure buildup, and so the engineers were forced to install a relief valve smack dab in the center of Lake Geneva, and so the jet d'eau was born. The valve was essentially moved a bit closer to the shore to give people a more of a show, and the volume of water has only increased over time, springing out 132 gallons of H2O every day and who knows how much it'll spurt in another hundred years. Number 6. Swarovski Crystal Head Fountain And now for something completely different. If you ever wanted to feel like giants once roamed the earth, then you just have got to check out the Swarovski Crystal Head Fountain in Austria. This water feature is about a head taller than everything else we've seen so far, because it's actually a massive head. This grass-covered head and face sit at the top of a small knoll and seem to spew water out of its mouth. But don't be grossed out, because the effect is achieved by something as simple as fitting the grassy visage with a nozzle and allowing the water to flow. But there's a lot more to the Swarovski crystal head fountain than meets the eye. Because while it's certainly easy to stop, stare for a moment, and simply move on, the head also serves as the entrance to the museum known as the Chamber of Wonders. Who doesn't want to climb into the mind of the Swarovski Crystal Head Fountain when you know it holds all those amazing exhibitions? Think of this water feature as the Guardian of the Garden. Now that's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? And so if you ever find yourself in Austria on a particularly beautiful day, this is one water feature you don't want to miss. Number 5. Latte World Musical Fountain it may be called a fountain, but the Latte World Musical Fountain in Busan, Korea is more of a spectacle than anything else. And while mall fountains tend to be a bit drab, offering not much more than a place to make a wish, the Latte World Fountain offers a lot more excitement. For starters, you can find this water feature within the pages of the Guinness Book of World Records because it's the largest and highest indoor water show in the world. This wet marvel opened up for public viewing back in 2010 and lives inside the Guangbok Latte department store. And the word of the fountain's existence quickly flowed, as the water did, because just within three weeks it had seen a half a million visitors. And now the fountain is still seeing about 20,000 visitors a day that remains Busan's most popular attraction for both tourists and locals alike. So then why all the hype? Well, the Latte World's musical fountain puts on a high-tech show every day for shoppers that incorporates music, light, and color, as the music seemingly dances to one of 16 different songs every single day. It's got a jet suspended about 72 feet off the ground that releases water in just about every direction to create water curtains that just dazzle the senses. Number 4. Banpo Moonlight Rainbow Fountain Moving things over from Busan to the nation's capital of Seoul is the Banpo Moonlight Rainbow Fountain. And you don't have to think too hard about how this water feature was given its name. The fountain is part of a two-tiered bridge built for cars over the Han River. The Banpo Bridge is on its own nearly 5,000 feet long, making the water display the longest fountain in the world. Imagine getting to drive over this every evening during the commute home from work. But what then exactly is the Rainbow Fountain working with? Well, there are a total of 380 jets, all of which are accompanied by a set of changing multicolored lights. But it doesn't stop there, because this water jet moves around in time with the bridge's accompanying music to create some pretty awesome displays. The combinations are quite literally endless, making multiple visits and viewings an absolute must. Just make sure to keep your eyes on the road. But you don't have a car? No problem at all, because there are plenty of pedestrian viewpoints along the water to catch a glimpse of this light and water show. 
As you can imagine, the fountain is a huge tourist attraction that sees thousands upon thousands of visitors a month, and the best part is each nightly show lasts for a full 20 minutes, making it a great alternative to just staying home and watching the tube. And if you really want to impress someone, checking out the Banpo Moonlight Rainbow Fountain makes for a perfect ending to any date. Number 3. Unisphere Fountain The Big Apple People come from far and wide to visit the island of Manhattan and hit the shops in Soho, walk along the highway and pig out at the Chelsea Market. But come on, the outer boroughs need some love too. And they have plenty of culture to offer that real New Yorkers get down on every single day. And the Unisphere Fountain is one place that Queens natives can agree on. This water feature has been a cultural institution since 1964, when it was built for New York's World's Fair in Flushing Meadows' Corona Park, and it just so happens to be one of the very few structures from the event still standing. The Unisphere itself is a 12-story tall, 120-foot diameter stainless steel globe surrounded by more water fountains than you can shake a stick at. The theme of the World's Fair back then was peace through understanding, and so what better way to symbolize that sentiment than with the home we all have in common? And at the time of the fair, the Unisphere was outfitted with a light display that not only gave the appearance of the sun shining on the earth, but smaller bulbs to depict every nation's capital. The fountain is iconic, and the best time to visit this Queen's staple is definitely during New York's hot and humid summers. From July to August, you can count on kids and adults running through here trying to cool down, not only in the fountain's jet streams, but in the shade of the globe. Number 2. La Joute Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire may be a great song, but no one ever wants to get caught in one. Luckily though, La Joute in Quebec, Canada is a great way to view the Ring of Fire from a safe distance. Translating to the joust in English, La Joute has been around since 1969 and stemmed from the mind of local artist Jean-Paul Rappel. Fittingly, you can find this fountain in Place Jean-Paul Rappel in the Quartier International du Montreal. It's safe to say that there's a lot going on when it comes to this water feature, and so it's tough to keep the eye focused on just one aspect for too long. Luckily, I'm here to help. La Joute is made of an ensemble of bronze sculptures depicting freestanding and abstract animals and human figures, all surrounding the central fountain. But the most important feature of this structure is the show it puts on during the summer. If you can get here any time between 7 and 11 at night, you're in for a real treat. Every half hour, La Joute's fountain jet expands to form a dome over the bronze sculptures, and while all of that is happening, the gates at the rear of the park give off a mist, making you feel like you're part of the action. There are 12 grates in all, and they spurt water one at a time in a sequence for just over a minute until they finally make their way up the fountain. That's when the real fun begins. For a full 18 minutes, La Joute bursts into action and sees an actual ring of fire form around the sculptures. Now I'm sure you're just burning to see this one. Number 1. The Fountain of Wealth We all want to take a dip in the Fountain of Youth, but what about the Fountain of Wealth? Located in the largest shopping mall in Singapore, the Fountain of Wealth was built in 1995 as a symbol of life and, of course, wealth. It won the title of the world's largest fountain in 1998 to boot, so hopefully it generates just as much money for all of us. The structure is made of a large bronze ring that represents the Hindu mandala, or the universe, and symbolizes the feeling of spiritual oneness, unity, and harmony among all peoples. The fountain is about 215 feet around and supported by those massive slanted columns. In all, the entire structure takes up around 5,500 square feet of space, with the jets of water cascading down from the center ring. And every night, you can bet on there being some awesome water and light shows, as the fountain creates a curtain-like appearance. But if you're real lucky, you'll catch a glimpse of the main fountain shooting water higher than the top of the center ring. Talk about making it rain. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.